Hello folks, I'm Abfielder. Welcome to this video in my Carpet Mod series. Today we're going to be looking at the AI Tracker script functionality and how it can be used to create the perfect iron farm. The iron farm behind me is from yesterday's tutorial and each module generates over 400 iron ingots per hour. Check that video out. During the tutorial though, I had some information on the screen and it showed things like where iron golems could spawn, when the villagers could detect those iron golems and more. And in the comments, a few of you were asking me, how do you do that? Well, great news is I have a carpet mod series and I figure why not cover that in this video? So let me show you how you do that now. And firstly, if you need to know how to install carpet or fabric mods in general, I've got a video for that. Link will be in the description. If you need just a little bit more info on carpet mod itself, then check out the first video in this series. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. So we're going to move over to the smaller farm. It makes it a little bit easier to show you the information. And the first thing you need to do is hit the T key and we want to load up a script. So forward slash script. There we go. And then space. And we want to do load and you can use the tab key to fill these out. And then it's AI underscore tracker and hit the enter key. OK, we've got to do something with that script, though. So if we hit the T key for chat and type in AI underscore tracker and like I say, use the tab key and then space, and then you'll get this menu on the screen. You can use the up and down arrows and select the one you want by pressing tab once you're on it, or you can type it in. If you know, we need the villager one though. So type in villager and then space, and we've got four more options. Now, we don't care about breeding. This is an iron farm. So buddy detection, hostile, uh, hostile detection, sorry, and iron golem spawning. So we're gonna have a look at buddy detection first. And as you can see, I've hit enter on that and it's brought this brown box on the screen. And what this is, is the area in which a villager can detect another villager. So we've got one villager in here. He's got one buddy. He is his own buddy. I'm just blocking that up because it stops him running around when he gets scared. So if I put in, oops, let me kill him. One more villager He's in that brown box. So he's detected. They now detect each other. So they've got two buddies. If I put him outside the brown box, just over here, for example, he's only got himself as a buddy. And the other guy in there would say one as well. We go ahead and put two more in here. You see the number turn green. That's because when it comes to iron golem spawning, you need three buddies. So green, good, red, bad. So let's just move that down to one. Makes the info a little bit easier to see. So if we do T AI forward slash AI underscore tracker villager, and then we want to have a look at the other three options. We're going to look at the iron golem spawning. So just tab and then hit enter. And we've got two new boxes on the screen. And the first one we're going to look at is the green one. But we've also got that white one we'll look at in a moment. Firstly, then the iron golem spawning box. This is the area in which iron golems can spawn, assuming all the other conditions are met. So this is why in my farm design, I have slapped this particular area because every bit of this area here is a potential spot an iron golem could spawn. I don't want them to spawn anywhere but this platform here. So slabs stop iron golem spawning and that's how i decided it next up we have the golem detection box and that's the area in which villagers can detect iron golems so if an iron golem is spawned and is in that box then villagers will not attempt to spawn another iron golem and that will hurt the efficiency of your farm because until the iron golem is out of that box they won't spawn another and you can see that this helped me design the drop tube on my farm the, as they fall below the lava, they're no longer in range of the villagers. So although it takes a few seconds for them to die, it doesn't harm the efficiency of my farm. That's why drop tubes are the way they are. Okay, that's a huge amount of information. So let's get, uh, let's break this up. And um, we've got some more information here. Let's try and break some of these boxes, make it a bit easier. So attempt in, and you can see it's changing rapidly, and that's the number of ticks, and that's when they're going to attempt to try and spawn a golem next. Assuming all conditions are good, then when that hits zero, they'll spawn a golem. How long since they last slept? As long as that's in green, you're good. Golem is when they last saw a golem, so they haven't seen one, you're absolutely fine. And there we go. If I put the three in, you get a box for each villager. And we've already discussed the buddies. So if I hover over those, these guys, two of them have never ever slept. So we're not going to get a golem spawning, even though the other conditions are green. You see how slept never is in red. So we need them to sleep. So if I just do the command to set it to nighttime, we need all three villagers to have slept. Now they only need to sleep briefly. There we go. One's asleep. And we need that last one to sleep as well. We've got two that are good now, two that have slept. So we're, we're great there. And there we go. The third one has slept. So now 
when those uh, those attempts get to zero, we'll get an iron golem and in range above his head. And you see as he drops below the lava, that in range disappears. So these are all the things you can use to create the perfect iron farm. I know that's a lot of information. There is one last thing that might come in useful if we do T for chat forward slash AI tracker space villager and then hostile detection. This time another space and we choose what mob we're using to scare our villagers. Now it's a zombie in this case and that shows us where the zombie needs to be to scare the villagers. They also need line of sight, which this doesn't really show you, but they need the, the zombie needs to be in that range. So huge amounts of information. I hope this video has been useful. If you design an iron farm using it, then please let me know about it. I'd love to see it. Anyway, folks, that's all I have time for. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.